Hello, YouTubers. What I got right here is a glass of uh, water with a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, Coca-Cola glass, and I have my tower cylinder HHO generator here that I made a video of before. And what I've done is uh, stuck a balloon on top just to see what would happen. I haven't tested this yet, so uh, this is going to be all new to me. Let me get this here set up here in the glass here. Hooking it to my power supply, 12 volt hookup. And I'm just curious what's going to happen here. Let me turn it on. I got it turned on. You can see it's making hydrogen on the outside. Just want to see if it will fill this balloon up on the inside. Uh, this one produces pretty good hydrogen and oxygen. So uh, I'm just curious what will it do. It will fill that balloon up or not. I don't see anything leaking out of the bottom. Just on the sides where the wires uh, are uh, fed through the sides there. Um, so I'm wondering if the pressure from the balloon will force it out of the holes from the side. So we can get a good view there. And uh, we'll see if it'll fill this uh, balloon up. Or do anything. So I'll let it run for a while. And then uh, I'll videotape some more of it. And I'll check back with it in about five minutes. And then see what happens. About eight minutes, and uh, one thing I've noticed is this balloon has filled up a little bit, but it is uh, expanding and contracting. Uh, you can see here, uh, let me get a round, round view of it. I, I don't know why, but uh, I was watching it. it it's it stopped, but uh, right in this area right here, it was expanding, and then it would, like something was sucking it out, contract, and nine it had been uh, nine minutes, and I've noticed that the water is starting to change a different color also, I don't know if it's from uh, the inside of the balloon, uh, it's gotten moisture, and then from the expanding and contracting, it's made the water change color, I, I, I don't know. It's never changed color on me before. Uh, I'm noticing that uh, the, the little holes on the sides from the wires going through the sides are pumping out hydrogen out of there even more now. Maybe because of the pressure inside of the balloon is uh, forcing it out of those holes instead of into the balloon. Uh, I don't know. But I'll, I'll let it keep running and I'll check back again in a few minutes and uh, see what happens. It's been uh, five minutes since the last time I checked. There's the time right there, and here's the here's the balloon. And what I've did since then is I filled up the water, a little bit more water up past where the balloon is connected to the uh, cylinder there, because uh, actually the balloon is actually touching the wire. So I don't want the wires uh, uh, if they get hot. They're not hot at all right now. They're not even slightly warm. But uh, just as a precaution, I uh, want to put it under the water. And uh, hopefully, because it was contracting, expanding, contracting, I was thinking if I covered the balloon with water, maybe it would seal, uh, make a seal there with the rubber. And uh, the balloon is rising now, it's expanding. Uh, before I put this balloon on there, I blew it up 
about six or seven times just to stretch out the balloon and then I stretched it out and stuff. Uh, but here's this generator, this HHO generator here. It's uh, filling the balloon and uh, the reason it's wiggling back and forth is because I have my uh, I have my fan. It's uh, oscillating and blowing wind and my AC is on also. But uh, yeah, that's what that's what's happened so far. Um, I think it's been what about 15 minutes since around the beginning to now, and uh, it's actually the time is actually 9:46 right now. So I'll let it run to about 10 o'clock, and then uh, I'll check on it again and see just how much has changed. I am. Uh, it's been running for what about 25 minutes now total uh, it hasn't gotten any bigger uh, although the, the balloon feels firm uh, so the water has changed to a little bit darker color and I've noticed that the glass is a little warm uh, the wires are cool not warm at all uh, but the but the water is a little warm and I think what's happening is uh, the pressure of the balloon is uh, keeping any more hydrogen or oxygen to continue to fill it and that there the pressure is making it leak out of the holes out of the side of the PEX tubing so I think that's as far as it's going to expand uh, I'm even surprised it expanded that much uh, so what I'm going to do is just turn it off and uh, disconnect this So it's no longer producing any hydrogen. I want to pinch this seal. Oh, it's leaking out. Actually, I wanted to see if it would rise, but it's leaking out. Pressure, I guess, when you drop it back into the water. Oh, air back in. It. Anyways, uh, I was even surprised that it would even fill this balloon for as little as this uh, generator thing is. Uh, but I just wanted to see what would happen. Let me squeeze it out. Uh, that was my little experiment I had done today. Alright, well, that was a hydrogen filled balloon. Uh, I wanted it to expand really, really big and then I was going to take it outside and light it on fire, but it didn't do that, so... Uh, can be successful at every test you do. There you go, hydrogen balloon.